Hi, good evening. Tonight I'm going to show you how I change the performance of the Icon H4 antenna tuner. Uh, H4 talks to certain types of the Icon radio, including this one, IC7300. There is a button here called tuner. If I hit this button, uh, it will command the H4 uh, to do the tuning. H4 will drive release and uh, will tune the SW uh, as low as possible. Most most likely uh, it's uh, very close to one to one and uh, right now the radio is connected to the H4 but uh, uh, it's untuned uh, which means that uh, the radio uh, connect to H4 but H4 bypassed those uh, 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 coils uh, and uh, hooked the uh, two wire antenna directly to this radio so the H4 is uh, not functioning right now and I'm sending this CW tone. CW is a pure tone out. And I'm sending very, very low power. It's uh, uh, just a little bit power. The reason I'm sending a little bit power is that the, the voltage on the antenna is so huge. Uh, I, I don't want to uh, damage my uh, scope. Uh, here's the setup here. This is the scope. Uh, this scope has two probes and they hook to the H4 uh, radio, uh, H4 tuner. Let's look at H4. This is the Icon H4 antenna tuner. Uh, this is a coax cable. It connect to the radio. Uh, so this is one side uh, of the uh, H4. I have a probe channel 1 hooked to here. Uh, this is uh, channel 1. This is a grounding. And uh, then it goes through a uh, bunch of the relays and uh, coils. And uh, then the other side of the H4 is a, a two wire antenna. Uh, one wire is here, it goes to my attic. Uh, this is the second probe connect to here. You can see the probe connect. This is channel two. And the other side of the uh, probe is this is a grounding wire. Uh, it's go to my basement. Um, so that's the setup. Uh, let's see the performance. Okay, I'm going to get some data. The data is here. Uh, this is the uh, Icon 7300, and uh, uh, it's connected to the AF H4 and the two wire antenna. This is the probe to the channel one. This is the probe to channel two. I'm going to connect uh, for untuned. I connect peak average and uh, impedance and uh, also for tuned and also um, for the other second probe so let's take a look um, let's shoot some tones okay you can see uh, it receives some tones and uh, let me lock it first uh, the channel 2, channel 2 is green the channel 2 is lagging behind the channel 1. Uh, there's some phase shift. And uh, overall, the frequency is clean. Let's look at the measurement. Okay, this is the channel 1. Uh, the max is 13.8. So this is untuned. Uh, this is the channel 1. So 13.8 volts and uh, AC RMS is 9.96 9 9.96 um, okay let's look at the uh, channel 2 hmm? this is channel 2 Channel 2, the max is 16.5. That's the peak voltage. And uh, the AC RMS is 11.8. Uh, uh, um, there's a relationship between RMS and the peak. Uh, for this pure sine wave, um, uh, square root 3 over 2 times the peak is the RMS. Uh, basically, um, peak times 
1.707 is the RMS. The reason I say use RMS is it's way easier for me to calculate the power. So we get two data. Okay, now let's go back to radio. Okay, we're back to radio. Uh, let me tune the uh, uh, AH4. You can hear the click, that's the relay. Now the radio is, uh, the AH4 is tuned and the signal goes to the AH4. Uh, let's go back to the scope. Okay, we're back to the scope. And uh, let's see some signals. Okay, we get signals and lock it. Okay, now let's look at the same data. Channel one. Uh, this is tuned. Uh, so the channel one, the max is nine point six, and the RMS is six point nine one. Let's look at channel two. Channel two max is seventeen. Point seven, and RMS is twelve point five seven. Okay, good. We we'll get all the data from this machine, so we no longer need this one. Uh, okay, let's go back to calculate the impedance. Okay, I use this uh, uh, antenna analyzer to to find the impedance. Uh, this is at the same frequency, fourteen point two five. And uh, uh, this is a tuned network, so the SWR is 1.5. Impedance is uh, 50, 53 and 23. 53 and 23, okay? 53 and 23. So let me record it. Now I hit the tuner button to untune it. So right now it's uh, uh, bypassing the uh, H4. Let's see uh, the untuned network. What's the impedance? It's a 25, 20, 24, 26. Okay, 24, 26. Okay, uh, now I get the data. Uh, here is the uh, channel one. Uh, hold on. Okay, I got all the numbers uh, uh, here. So we can see that uh, for channel one, the peak is uh, 9.6 uh, average here, and uh, 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 impedance this one. So based on this one, I, can, I get this is number 78 ohms. It's not 58. 50 ohm 78 ohms so the power uh, is 0 0.6 uh, volts and for the untuned uh, is the power is 2.8 volts so you can see uh, the radio send out more power when the uh, HF is not tuned uh, H4 uh, not tuned uh, when it's tuned it's sending a little bit of power out on the other side of the H4, for the tuned, uh, the radio uh, is, uh, I do not know the impedance of the two wires, so I use the same same uh, impedance. Uh, so it's 2.2 .2 watts, and for untuned is 3.74, and the calculation is the voltage square, uh, the RMS square over uh, impedance is the energy. So you can see um, the untuned network is sending out more power. Uh, when the radio is in tune, it's sending less power. So the radio is adaptive here. Um, and for both sides, since I do not know the uh, impedance of two watts, so I really do not know how much power is sending out. This power does not make sense because uh, if you're sending out uh, 0.6 volts out, uh, there's no way you can uh, um, kick out two volts out of these two volts. Um, so that's the conclusion. Uh, so the conclusion that uh, the tuned signal 
uh, we'll bring the power down. Uh, and uh, uh, the another observation is that the uh, volts, voltage is too high. Uh, I'm sending a little bit power out, and the voltage is uh, uh, nine volts, seventeen volts. And if the uh, I'm sending say hundred watts, I really don't know how much volts uh, is on the antenna. So that's why don't touch the antenna when it's in transmission. Um, okay, uh, that's the conclusion of this video. Uh, thank you very much. Good night.